back from the break? It's it's five fifteen. Let's get started. Okay. Uh, hold on. Okay. Hi everyone. I'm Cheryl from Kaiju Fibers and I'm live from Singapore right now. So over here it's actually 9.16 a.m. and after this live show I'll be I'll be going to work. So this is my second time on Fiber Love Affair. And thank you, Yuriko and team, for you know letting me come back for the second time to share with you guys my story. Yeah. So I will first share the code bingo work first for those who are early birds to my show. So this is my code, Summer. Okay, I'll review again later at the end of the show. Okay. So a bit about um, Kaiju fibers. So Kaiju is actually a fictional dinosaur in a movie from Japan. I'm not sure if you're familiar with it. So because Kaiju is like, a, Godzilla is like a fictional character, right? So for me, it's a fictional world because I like dinosaurs, I like to draw dinosaurs and I like colorful colors, right? So over here in Singapore, we don't have, um, we don't have easy access to hand dyed yarn and most of the time shipping is very expensive. So for me, I took up that challenge and kickstart my hand dyed fiber journey in Singapore and try to encourage Asian women to wear more bright colored clothing. So if you can see my colors over here, the color palettes, they are mainly very um, easy to match. Um, Cause in Singapore, women here tend to go for browns, black, uh, navy blue. So I look for colors that are more in between, more pleasant to wear and easy to match our skin tone. Okay, so today I'll be sharing three yarn types, actually maybe just two. So mainly my, my Bambino silk, which is a summer yarn, 65% merino, 20% bamboo, 15% silk. Next will be my custom spun order, my merino linen singles. So these are going at 50 grams, so they are slightly more affordable. And then I do have a small quantity of sock yarn. Um, the price list, the price listed on the paper, it's it's an estimate because my price is mostly in Singapore dollars. So I ship worldwide from Singapore. If you do order from me, I think shipping will take approximately a month um, to get there. Usually it will get stuck at Can Canada Post for I think about two weeks based on the previous experience. So if you are keen to order, just be prepared to wait. And I do offer a 10% off for this event. So it's 24 hours based on Singapore time. So there will be tomorrow 10, 5, 15 p.m in Pacific time. So if you are keen, do take down this uh, code, FLA10, so you get 10% off. Okay. So let's begin. Um, so for Kaiju fibers, the most popular colorway we have is um, pressed flowers. You might have seen it on Fiber Love Perfect Instagram, which I think Rebecca shared yesterday or day before. So the, the photo that you saw on Instagram is actually this top that I'm currently wearing. It's a merino linen blend. So this is the pressed flowers that I have. I have eight of these. So it's actually, it's very drapey, as you can see. And then there's like this soft sheen to it. So I did a swatch. This is the 3.25 mm swatch. And this is the 2.25 mm swatch. Yeah, I don't know if you can see. So what's so special about this yarn is it's loosely spun. So it's a bit different from the South Africa merino linen if you ever touched it. So mine is more loosely spun. The needles use is slightly more flexible. So you can, like you see this is in 3.25 mm and 2.25 
them. So they are pretty similar actually. Um, there's a question. Do I sell my roving? Yes, I will get to that later after I introduce my yarn first. Okay. Yeah. So pressed flowers mainly have uh, um three colors: um pink, orange, pink, orange, uh green, brown. Yeah. So like you can see on my top. So it's very, it's a very soft color, but not overly girly or too pastel. Yeah. So this is the merino linen blend, and this is the bam bamboo silk. So currently, I only have four in stock available. So I do have a pre-order listing. Um, do go ahead to pre-order your quantity, and I'll die according to your batch number. Okay. So how does bamboo? merino silk look like when worn. So this is a sample that I made. You can see, I don't think you can see the shine, but there's a soft sheen to it. Um, very pleasant to knit with, very stretchy. Doesn't peel when you wash in the washing machine. So this is another um, sample. It's quite cool to touch. So it's quite suitable for your weather, I guess. Um, when it comes to summer. I've never been to the US or Canada, so I'm not very sure of the humidity level, but in Singapore, it's very, very humid. So, but this yarn passes the weather. The weather here is really, really hot. It's like um, 35 degrees Celsius, but this few weeks has been really cold over here. It's like equivalent to our winter. Um, it's currently at 24 degrees Celsius, the coldest at most. So bamboo silk don't really keep us warm here. Uh, it's, it's like quite cooling. So I would say this is a very suitable yarn for summer if you are preparing to knit summer wear. Yeah. So the other speckled yarn that I have is um, City Lights. I'm not even sure if you classify this as Penton 2021, but it does have greys and yellow. So I also have five of these. So if you're interested, um, yeah, you can order on my website. If you do have, if you want to see any colors from my website, do let me know in the chat and then I can just show you the sample. So yeah, here. this is how it looks like. And this is the pressed flowers. So heavily speckled. So other colors that I do have on my Instagram, if you see it, it's this um, lilac for floral. It's actually purple with slight pinks. So very sweet color if you intend to knit a top. So I would say my colors are mainly um, suitable for garments. And the bolder colors are more for like accents. Um, you can try to knit West Knit shawl with Mayan, I guess, if you want. I haven't knitted a shawl from him yet, by him yet. <laughs> oh. uh, next, I will go into my merino linen. So now I took a darker color. You can see the linen sticking up. I don't know if you can see. So I do have a few colors available on my website. If you are interested in certain color, you can um, pre-order with the promo code FLA10 for 10% off. Or uh, if you do see a color that I have on my other bases like merino, bamboo, and silk, but I don't have any in this base, you can make a pre-order. Um, you can drop me a message on Instagram and I can do a custom order for you. I don't charge extra for commission colors. So feel free to go ahead and discuss with me over Instagram. Uh, what is it on the chat? My cat was sitting on my lap when she showed. My discount code is FLA10.
FLA 10. So apart from the yarn that I have, I do also provide a taster to my yarn. So I do have three grab bags, three grab bags up for order. So they are going at, a, I think, hundred sing dollars. Yeah, I'm not very sure in, in the US dollar. So you can do the conversion. So each bag has five skeins of yarn. Uh, I'm left with green tones and one green tone and two blue tones. So if you want to place an order to try my yarn, but you don't want to pay the full price, then go ahead and place an order for the mystery grab bag. So they are mostly summer yarns too. I don't really carry 100% merino because it's too warm to wear here. So the blends will be mainly either... Um, depending on what you choose. Uh, merino tensile, um, merino bamboo, and I think I do have one grab bag that has 100% merino in it. Yeah, I think I do have. So go ahead and place your order. Um, each grab bag comes with a stitch marker, a 10% discount code, I think, and what else do I have? Oh, and a sample yarn. Yeah, so I won't show you what I did because it's a grab bag. So it's a mystery grab bag. So um, there's only three left. So you can use the FLA 10 discount code on this grab bag. So it will be even, even more cheap. Yeah. Um, so how does my merino bamboo silk yarn look like on a shawl? It will be like this. Right, so I do have four of these colors. They are not very neon, like um, blinding our eyes level of neon, but uh, it's, it's slightly more toned down. Does the five skins in the grab bag have the same colorway or will be different shades? Okay, so for my grab bags, um, in five skeins, right? So at least three of it will be the same color. And then um, the other two will be the same color, but there will be one bag that has four of the same color and one of a different color. So they are very good buy because um, I plan it such that it's sweater quantity for Asian women, but you can also use the <clears throat> the main main color as like the top and then the leftovers for socks or making a smaller shawl like for these i only use two skins yeah so go ahead and place the order they're all from the same batch so don't be afraid if like the colors are of different different shape mm. um Okay, so now I'll move on to the rovings. So rovings is something that I got into um, recently this July when the lockdown happened in Singapore. I was, I lost my knitting mojo. I lost my crochet mojo. I didn't want to do anything. And, and then my friend introduced me to making my own yarn, spinning my own fiber. So that's when I <clears throat> took took the leap and then just bought some random fiber I found on Etsy and tried my first uh, hand spun. Then she introduced me to one of the US market where they mainly sew fleece and rovings. So that's where I made my first big purchase and went wow with, with the colors. So in Singapore, I mainly carry three bases. Um, Y'all, you guys are familiar with, it's Tagi Bamboo and Tassel Silk, this one. Um, I carry 100% South Down. And I carry Rambouille. Rambouille. <clears throat> so this is a 21 microns Rambouille very squishy. 
very squishy. Yeah. So I do have some yarn left, um, uh, rovings left, blank rovings. So if you want me to dye a certain color, um, I can do it in like, for example, pressed flowers. So for like this purple color uh, fiber, south down, I did a hand spun. So forgive me if it looks very ugly because it was my first, my first time doing it. And then I think I applied it wrongly also. So this is the south down to ply sample. Yeah, so you can see the the color broke on its own. So there's like the different tones. It's a lilac purple actually. I think on my screen it looks very blue, but it's it's a very lilac purple. Please go to my website to look at the colors instead. So then this is in the three ply, I think. That's why they call it three ply. Yeah, but I, I spun it wrongly on the wrong direction, so it looks very weird. <laughs> So this is my first time doing it, so don't judge. <laughs> um, so then on the same color, I have it on Huggy Bamboo and Silk. So yeah. So then I do have um, more colors over here, if you can see. So my colors look a bit... Um, strange for some colors but when you blend them together it looks quite pretty because my friend spun it but i didn't have the sample today um, my favorite color will be this one this is my favorite color Woohoo! so bright so you have like the orange it will break on its own and then it will fit down to um, red. This is, this is like a blood orange color. Yeah, and then you will fit, fit down to, to this um, neon purple uh, funky blue shade. Yeah, it's a fun, it will be a very fun spin. So I hope someone can adopt. Oh, it's um, four ounces. So every roving is four ounces. I think I'm not very sure in grams, but it's four ounces. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else you want to see? Do I have any knitted samples using milk? I don't have the butter beer sample because that was a new color that I dyed up um, two weeks ago at a Christmas fair. So, oh right, I forgot to mention. Um, okay, so I don't have a lot of samples for my new color because I recently moved my studio. So I'm at uh, my new studio this week. I started, I moved last week and I had my Christmas fair two weeks ago. So after I dyed my yarn, then I moved for two weeks and then now I'm ready for business and now there's this event. So I, I, I apologize, I don't have any sample for butterbeer. But for butterbeer, I'm only left with um, merino linen base. The other, the other base, the sock yarn and the bamboo silk is sold out already. Yeah. So I only have limited quantity in uh, butterbeer. So I butterbeer is a very soft buttery color with um, like this. Goldy, golden orangey type of speckle with, with a bit of green. It's like a moss green color, like this speckle around the, the skin itself. So you think of it as like butter beer, you know, then that's the foam. You pour some matcha powder on top. Yeah, it's a very strange combination, but that's what I imagine in my brain. So this is the butterbeer colorway. So um, Tara, you asked what is that one called? Which which one were you referring to? Oh, my favorite roving. Oh, um, this is in Tagi Bamboo and Silk. 
I don't have a name for my roving because I, I just typed them and it just went crazy. Yeah, so I think on my website, you look for the listing hand dyed Tagi bamboo silk roving. And then there's a lot of black dots. So you click through one of one of them. I forgot which one was the number. Yeah. So this is Tagi bamboo and silk. I only have one piece. All my rovings, I only have one piece. So most likely I won't um, dye them again unless there's a need, there's a commission order, but most, most of them is just one piece. So another favorite color that I like is this one. I call this spring onion. Don't it look like those wilted spring onion? <laughs> you know, those not fresh anymore, it's gonna spoil anytime. So that's like green, yellows, this browny yellow looking color. So this spring onion. This is also on tagi bamboo and silk, also four ounces. Yeah. So um the last time, the last show in October, I didn't have the time to run through my rovings. So this time around, I do have some time. So if you're interested in any of the colors, do let me know. I can pick up and show you. Yeah, I guess it was spin up in a really fun green. It, I think it will be um, a more autumn-y color because of the, the slight browns in it, like the browns. Rebecca, there's yellow in it, right? That's why you say spring onion is lovely. <laughs> Um, what else? What else do I show you? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, maybe I'll just share with you one random thing that I saw. Okay, so you know, earlier on, I shared that I have love for dinosaurs, right? So during the shift, when I had to go to Ikea to get furniture, guess what I found? So dinosaur in midway! <laughs> Yeah, so they had they come in sets of four, so you can see it like at the back on top. So they are all little dinosaurs wearing knitwear. So I hope to knit them someday. Hopefully, I can come up with something. Yeah. So yeah, so those who who came late, this is my coat for the bingo summer. Um, another color that will be hard for you to catch on the website will be dark sage. Okay, I think it doesn't catch on. Can you tell? It's it's actually um a very dark bluish green. Um, almost like our blue black, like a bruise color. So I'm not sure if you can tell the color over the screen because it looks quite blue on my end. But yeah, so this is dark sage. Oh crap, I can't really tell the color. Maybe a blue might compare. Yeah. So this is denim. So I put beside. You can see the, the color difference. Yeah. Yeah, so recently I started dyeing darker colors because um Older women visit my pop-up market and they ask me if I have dark colors because they felt that young cut the brighter colors like like my salmon. So they said this is too bright. Um they are young people color, so they asked if I could dye up something darker for them. And to be honest, it's quite a struggle for me because I don't wear dark colored clothing. So to me, dark color is just black, which is just a normal staple clothing, which I need for um, boring days. So most of my clothing is in like hot pinks, uh, neons, orange, really, really bright color. So it was a struggle for me to dye up something so dark uh, for, for a year. But 
but then I did it. So this is another purple that I have. So this is orchid. So um, this is also orchid on the sock base. So you can see that they are quite different. So they are different because of the bamboo. The bamboo doesn't really absorb the color. So if you like a richer orchid, a purple color, you can go for the sock orchid. So this is 85% merino, 15% nylon, 100 grams, 400 meters. So this is the orchid in sock yarn. This is orchid in bamboo, merino and silk. And orchid in merino linen. Yeah. So if you do crochet, um, crocheters actually buy these from me. So one interesting story I encountered was um, this girl, she wanted to make a Angora rabbit amigurumi. So she was trying to find a yarn that could look like the rabbit fur, but she couldn't find any. And in Singapore, we don't really have Angora rabbit uh, yarn. So she bought this. But she hasn't made it yet, but I, I'm looking forward to it. So if any one of you does do amigurumi and you're interested to um, make a toy with, with something like a fur effect. So I think this is a good yarn. You can see it's like spiky, spiky. Yeah. So another reason why I got this blend in 50 grams, right? Um, so in Singapore, during lockdown, it's very boring, right? So remember I mentioned earlier, I got into rovings. So in October, I got into weaving. Then when I was weaving, I realized um, weavers don't have access to hand dyed yarn in Singapore. Not because um, they don't, not because they don't know about hand dyed yarn, but hand dyed yarn is too much for them like in terms of quantity, they don't need 100 grams. And from what I understand, most of the time, you guys just like mix and match the yarn. So it was quite a hands-on experience for me for two months. And then I decided, okay, someone in Singapore needs to start a hand-dyed yarn for weavers. So that's how I got this yarn in 50 grams. Um, sadly, the weavers who bought my yarn have not woven anything with it. So I have no sample to show you also. <laughs> Says pre order on the colorway circles like oh yes yeah. so um okay so uh, I'll just share with you guys on on zoom but don't tell anybody uh this was actually supposed to be circles lights I think it's listed as autumn flowers on my website um, the color overrun a little, so it became super, super orange. Super, super orange. Uh, yeah, so I overdid it a little bit, and then the grays, the blacks just went crazy. And the outcome looked totally different from what I originally had. So, but it was quite similar to pressed flowers. See? It's just one is has a gray base, one is like in a pink base. So then I thought, uh, why not just call these autumn flowers? Cause it's mainly brown. It's, so, it's such a moody color. Yeah, thank you. I have five left. Five, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I have five left if you, if you want me, um, do place your order. So my colors, how I name my colors, um, mainly I, that's whatever first comes to my mind. I don't know how other dyers plan their, their colors, but I don't I don't plan my color palettes. So it's really more of like mood of the day. So if I come in feeling moody and I'll just end up dyeing color like this and this. So that's what happened to the it being all gray. <laughs> and then if I feel very blue today, then I'll go for a color like this. So this is a freshly dyed color that I did yesterday. Oh, thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah, so in Singapore, it's been raining every day, like 24 hours. It just doesn't stop. And it's so cold and so wet. And 
the humidity is like at 97 percent it's just so warm doing anything in singapore yeah so i think um is it snowing over there i don't know it is oh that's nice yeah it's so hot oh you like this yeah so this is um i don't know if you can see it's actually purple it's purple here like orchid shade of purple like this orchid shade of purple um and then the let me just open up so, uh, you see ah uh, yeah so there's the purple then there's the blue uh, and then there's a lighter blue here yeah and then if you do get this yarn you look if you look at the yarn itself the blue actually broke the dye ah i don't think you can see but there's actually pink speckles inside the blue area because the the color broke on its own so i believe you guys are familiar with how you dye yarn you know like different fiber has different absorption rates so in this case the merino absorbs first followed by the silk and then the bamboo so for this yarn it's again i stress that uh, merino bamboo and silk has a soft sheen to it it's not shiny like uh i don't know 100 percent silk you know the mulberry silk it's not 100 percent, not shiny like 100 percent mulberry silk but it does have a bit of shine when you compare against the sock yarn however my sock yarn and my merino bamboo silk are so similar that you can't tell the difference yeah so um I'm not sure if you guys recognize this pattern. So this is the Stephen West, uh, I think the something fireworks, night lights, I don't know, I forgot the name. Yeah, so this is actually knitted in both um, merino bamboo silk and the sock yarn double strand together. So they are very, very similar. You cannot tell the difference at all. Yeah. So, Another point I forgot to mention is all my merino is hun uh, ex super wash extra fine merino. So it's very, very, very soft. It's really very, very soft, like extra, extra soft. Yeah. So it's very different from the other sock yarn or merino linen that I've touched in the market. So it's really very soft. Yeah. So if you don't mind trying you can go ahead and try with my 10 percent discount code so again for those who came late this is the discount code only valid for 24 hours so it will be nine valid till 5 15 pm pacific time yeah so fla 10 um no minimum minimum order is just order something but 10 percent off everything yes my merino linen is fingering weight so in Singapore, I don't carry higher than fingering because it's too hot. It's too hot to wear here. Yeah, we can even fingering is already very warm here. So um, go ahead and try. If you are ready for summer, go ahead and try my yarn. So I mainly source summer yarns in Singapore. And I will likely carry silk and linen blend uh, soon. Not, not immediately, but maybe like March, April, around there. So I'm not sure what blend I want yet. I'm still considering um, whether to do like a 50-50. But if you do have suggestions on what is the best blend, do let me know because I'm still learning a lot on hand dyed yarn. Um, I, my, a friend told me that a uh, yarn, okay, uh, for a top to be cool, it should not have more than 20% plant fiber. So I'm not sure how true is that, but so far it remains quite true. Unless someone has other tips to share, then do let me know. Um, I'm open to feedbacks, suggestions. Uh, do drop me a message on Instagram. I don't bite. Don't bite like a dinosaur. Kaiju mm. is a happy dinosaur. Yay! Yeah, so, so uh, you see, we only have one teeth. 
So I don't buy, I'm very friendly. <laughs> yeah, so you can... Just um, let me know what. So if you think my colors are ugly or if you think my colors are boring, do let me know because I really like to listen to on the ground feedback. Yeah. So um, I do have two colors that I did not list up. So this is similar to salmon. Uh, it's a mess down here. Oh, yeah. It's quite similar to salmon, but it's not. Um, it's like persimmon color. Uh, so I would say this is more red. This is more orange. Not as orange as what you see on the screen, but um, they are quite similar in real life, actually. So yeah, I have two that's not listed. How much is shipping to Canada? Um, it really depends on the weight because I come by tier shipping. So I think the cheapest will be, I think, about USD 12, around there, 16 Sing dollars. Yeah. So I will send by registered post, registered mail by Singapore Post because DHL and FedEx over here is crazy expensive not worth the money at all. Um, so it will take one month, about one month to reach Canada. It will hang in Canada post for about at least a good one week. So if you do see it arrive in Canada, don't panic. Um, it's not that the mail is lost. It's just hard to be Canada post for quite a while. Yeah. So if you want these two colors, Petiman, um, I don't think I'll be listing it on my website so soon. So you can drop me on Instagram if you want. So it's a uh, Yeah. Oh, oops. Oh, sorry, Yuriko. I sent to the wrong, wrong person. <laughs> Let me type again. Yeah. So if you run this color, do let me know. I will do it to you separately. So um, another thing that I received recently was a request to sell gift cards on my website. So if you are keen to buy gift cards for someone, um, it will be a custom listing. So do let me know also. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else anybody wants to hear me talk about? Oh, right, right, right. So I forgot to share that I do have gradient cake. Okay, the limited quantities, I will not be repeating them anymore. If you do weaving, I love this yarn as the warp. Okay, I love it. Let me just show you the shawl that I uh hold hold on. I, let me go grab my shawl. Okay, since she's gone, I bought these two cakes of gradient yarn last time. And do you do you want to know the secret? They're really good price compared to what you get in North America. And she doesn't have a lot of them, so go and get it now. Yes, yes. Thanks, thanks for the shout out, Yuriko. Yeah, so hand dyed yarn is very expensive to most of us. So my yarn are decently priced, more affordable for the local people. So it's your gain. Yeah, so okay, so this is the shawl that I wore. Okay, with the gradient yarn. So you can see here the warp is very um squiggly. Yeah, so then it creates this natural wavy effect. Yeah. So I have few colors left on my website. Do go ahead and try it's three mini three colors. Oh, sorry, mainly two colors because Yuriko bought the last color. <laughs> so yeah, two two colors. Last two, last two colors. Um, I left with two two of each. Except this this yarn is this color I want it differently. So, 
um, if you want the one that starts with purple, let me know. This one starts with yellow, but they are the same. See, so if you want, uh, do let me know. They are a little, they are quite squiggly, actually. So if you do weaving, I recommend this as a work. Um, um, I weave the sari style, so I'm not very um, perfectionist towards weavings. So if you don't like this, then don't buy. <laughs> How is the marine for weaving? Um, I have not tried it for weaving yet because I only received the yarn early December. Early December and the weavers didn't have time to weave a sample for me. So I honestly don't know, but uh, I think it's okay. Cause it's quite drapey. I'm wearing this top, you see, so drapey. So drapey. Maybe you want to order and then you know, do a sample for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is the merino linen. Remember the fiber, yeah. Um, what else do I have to show you? Is there anything you guys want to see, like color wise, or like any of the rovings? Uh, I do have magazines also. I think if you still, if you want to get PPQ issue thirty five, I still have them in stock. Uh, physical copy. I heard the hard copy is sold out already. So if you want physical copy, I do have. Um, yeah, I got. What else can I show you? Oh yes. Um. So um, pink pink roving. You mean this one? This one? No. Um, this one. Okay, so could you compare colors of skin to another? Okay. Uh, so this is skin and this is soy. So to clarify, skin is not a beige color, but it's a very, 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 very light, like a uh, brown. Thanks, Denise. So this is the comparison. And then for pink rovings wise, um, I do have this in like a neon, neon pink, neon pink. Um, T8 rowing, T8 is tiny. Is it this one? No. <laughs> what was the red color in the sweater? Oh, um, this is actually orange. Yeah, but it's, but it's called fire lot, fire lot. Pink color in T8. Um, Is it this? Red, white, and pink. Red, white, red, white, and pink. This is not red, white, and pink. Uh, red, white, and pink. Um, Beth, maybe I'll follow up with you later. Okay, yeah.
uh, could you drop drop me a bit uh could you drop me a message on instagram or facebook so i can follow up with you yeah. yes canada dollars is just a little bit higher than singapore dollars so if it's affordable for you then go ahead and try my yarn i'll be happy to ship um yarn over together with uh some singapore snacks for you to try <laughs> Is there anything else you guys want to see? Wait, let me access these two. Yeah! Oh, right. Speaking of accessories, um, when for Bini? Right. So, this is the Bini. Made knitted with merino linen. Thanks, Alex. I remember. So Alex knitted this uh beanie with merino linen. Actually, this is Amazon night, but the color is sold out already. <laughs> yeah. Can you show me some of my yellow? Yes. Um. So this is the yellow that I have called sunflower. This is sunflower. Um, just now we said butter beer. So butter beer. And then there's ginger. It looks brown on screen, but it's actually a uh, brownish yellow. Okay, sunflower. Um, and then the ones with a bit of grey will be city lights. Uh, yeah, that's about it for my yellows. If you want orange, I wanted to say I do have orange on my website. Uh, I think it's called Monarch, but because of the dye, it's not that contrasting. So it's a uh, OOAK. I will update the listing later. What solid would I pair with butter beer? Are you a warm colored tone person or a cool colored tone person? So for me, I will, I will pair butter beer with. Uh, Pink? Pink? This is um Sakura. Not soccer, but Sakura. Sakura. Yeah. So then I also have um if you wanna pair it with something speckled together and then Press flowers together for cool tone. Cool tone wise, I will say um, Oh yes, my secret weapon. Blue lapis. Last three. So like this blend. It's all very it's more towards the pastel rather than uh, something so strong from what you see in the screen so yeah so i think this is a good combi if you like something lighter will be like that so this is a uh, medium purple the very light purple yeah. if you want something strong will be orchid So um, blue lapis is my second favorite color from after Amazon. Mm -hmm. So this is a bit different. Yes, blue lapis. Yes, yes, blue lapis. So Stephanie, if you want this combi, do place your order soon with FLA 10. Okay. Um, just maybe to show you the persimmon color with uh, this is chicken tikka masala so during the lockdown in april i was craving for butter chicken a lot a lot a lot a lot so then i dyed up butter chicken colorway and chicken tikka masala <laughs> so this is chicken tikka masala
Any other color? So maybe to show you the difference, uh, I do have cranberry listed and blood orange. So they look the same online, but this is the difference. So you see, if you see online, it looks red and cranberry is also red, but when you put together, it's not. Yeah. Oh, um, you can also order like most of the colors and create your, the Stephen West, the bubble, bubble something show, the recent one. So he uses seven colors and two main colors, right? So the seven colors, you can buy like 150 grams to make uh, the bubble color. And then the two main color, you can get about four, four of one of uh, the main color. Yeah, so I don't have a lot of colors left uh, quantities left per color because each color I only dyed up about six, 16. So that's about 300 grams. Yeah. So women here are really small size. So I, I don't dye up too much quantity. If not, um, it's very hard to split the, the batch, you know, like if I dye up 12 and then um, I have to dye it in two batches. So I try to squeeze them all into one batch so that you can get the best in every batch. Yeah. So if you want any color, I, I highly recommend you to just buy all the colors. Because especially for pressed flowers, um, each batch is very, very different. So it can come in very pink, very orange, or it can come in like for this, this batch is very, it's very woody. The very woody color for this batch. Um, if you want pressed flowers in sock yarn, do let me know. Uh, I do have that listing on my website, but do bear in mind that it might turn out a little bit too orange because of the, the dye. So yeah, so we whatever colors you want to commission with me. Um I'm not a perfectionist, I'm I'm a cook, I'm not a baker. So you have to be less serious about uh, what you will receive at the end. And I can guarantee you, you will love it. If you don't love it, let me know. I will give you a refund. Yeah. What? That was what I did with Butterbeer. Oh! Yeah, that's what uh, Reagan bought all five of Butterbeer. She came and she was like, oh, I love this color. It's so pastel and cute and I'm gonna buy all and then she just like grab and go. Yeah, so she bought all the sock yarn for Butterbeer. <laughs> Too cute, thank you. So is there any other thing? We are almost one hour into the show. How many do we need for the top you're wearing? Oh, okay. So this is actually Monica Gala Tea by Sari. By Sari. So this one I used about three, three of uh, pressed flowers. So it's about 540 meters. Yeah. Um, I did heavy mod on this though. So like I cast on size four for the body here, and then I reduced it at the top. I reduced it at the shoulders. So this is the actual, this is the other one that I had. So the sleeve is a lot longer. Yeah, so you can see it's like significant. It's like about three inches shorter. So yeah. I wove an Xmas gift with the sky bamboo. So soft, right? Yeah, so I, I do left three of sky. So yeah, Stephanie bought sky. So this is the last three from the same batch. So if you are keen, um, this is the last three. It's a very hard color to achieve. And there's a bit of a dark 
dark blue dark blue oh, I don't think you can see but yeah that's it's it's a let's see it on my website it's a very different shade from the screen yeah so then there's this other um lighter end of jade green so I call it clear water beaches so if you are if you are interested in my kind of colors, my colors are in between pastels and neon. Um, to me they are very unique. So it's a kaiju color, or so they say in Singapore. If you are keen, do make your purchase on my website. Yeah. Um. All oh right. I forgot to mention. My yarn, when you knit with my yarn, they come a little, they are a little bit, um, what do you call this, tonal, even though they are solids. Yeah, so they do have a bit of this whitish, whitish, whitish part as you knit. So that's like my signature in a sense. So from far, you see, uh, you know, that's kaiju yarn. Um, so I don't dye like 100% full solid color. They are mostly... They do have a bit of this white speckly effect. So if you are very anal about it being full solid, then then I will say my yarn's not for you. But yeah. It's great they are trying to bring some colors today. Yes. And it's slowly picking up in Singapore and I'm very, very happy for that. Like you know, women here are stepping out of their comfort zone to purchase better quality yarn in Singapore. Yeah. So this is another color. Probably the last color I'll talk about today. So this is Cabernet. It's a brownish wine color. Um, very, very hard to capture on, on the photo, but I guarantee you, you will love it. I only have two left, the last two. So if you are keen in this color, do grab it. It's, it's almost a one of a kind colorway. So if you are really interested, um, please just get the last two. The last two is sitting here waiting for you. So yeah, you can see it's very differently speckled. And not speckled, it's not speckled, it's a solid yarn, but it's just tonal. Yeah, so you can see. Yeah. Yeah, so. so yeah, this is the last color I'll share for tonight. <laughs> Thanks, Stephanie. Yeah, so for people, last last chance to show you 10% off. FLA 10, 24 hours from today. So 5.15 p.m. Pacific time tomorrow morning, uh, tomorrow afternoon, evening for you guys. And for Singapore, it's um, tomorrow morning, 9.15 a.m. And then my code will be summer. Okay. So it's 10.15 a.m. now. Uh, I guess my slot is up one one hour, right? Yeah, so thank you guys. Thanks for staying to the end. It's very late on the other side. Uh, I hope you enjoy my rambles for one hour. Yeah, it's, it's been a busy week. So for those in Singapore, go to work, go to work. <laughs> okay, bye.